welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Carolina. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my August favorites. I have a ton of products that I want to talk to you guys about, and these are products that I have been loving for the month of August, but not just this month, previous months as well. I have not done a favorites video in so long, and I was like, you know what? It's time for a favorites video. I love filming favorites video. I love watching favorite videos. I love seeing what other people have liked, seeing if I can try out new products. So that's why I love favorite videos. I know I haven't filmed one in so long, but I'm doing one today and I really wanted to show you guys the products that I have been loving. So if you guys are interested and want to see my favorite products for this month, just keep watching. Okay, love, so let's go ahead and get started. I have a little bit of everything. So I have skincare, I have hair, course makeup because you guys know this is a, a beauty channel I love trying out new makeup so I'm going to talk to you guys about some products that I have truly been loving for this month but I'm first going to start off with the non makeup related items and then we'll get to makeup so I have a few products that I have been loving for in my hair my hair is color treated so I've been trying to take really good care of my hair I really want to make sure that my hair is nice and hydrated so I would definitely go in with a hair mask also my hair style is recommended that I do a hair mask at least twice a week. I try to do twice a week, but sometimes I only do it once a week because I honestly hate washing my hair. I do not like washing my hair at all. I only wash my hair maybe once or twice a week. I have a ton of hair, but you guys can see. I have like so much hair. So I really hate washing it, but I love doing a very nice deep conditioning mask on my hair. The one that I've been really enjoying this month has been this one right here. This one is the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask with Caravis Protein and Argan Oil. It says that it deeply conditions, repairs, and strengthens for all hair types. After I take this off, my hair feels so smooth, so soft. I don't love the smell, but I can tolerate it just because it leaves my hair so so smooth silky um the way that i use this product i actually uh, use it overnight so i've always used my hair mask overnight sometimes i will do it like during the day if i'm going to be home all day i just leave my hair mask literally on for hours i just feel like that is the best thing for my hair not just this mask right here but other masks that i've used in the past i feel like this mask is also great for any kind of hair type like curly hair straight hair like wavy hair this works so well it also helps detangle your hair so i love when i rinse this out in the shower my hair feels so smooth and tangle free definitely recommend it if your hair is struggling if you need a little bit more of hydration need your hair to look nice and healthy and silky this is the product for you the next product that i've been really enjoying have been two styling products so one is by briogeo or briogeo this one is the farewell frizz Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. It's basically a spray that helps you manage your frizz. My hair gets so frizzy and this product helps my hair so much. I love this. I only have a little bit more left so I definitely need to go ahead and pick up a new one. It doesn't leave my hair oily. It doesn't make my hair feel super heavy. I do use this right after I get out the shower. I will put this on all over my hair, especially right here because this is the area where I tend to get the most frizzy so I make sure I put a good amount right here inside my hair right here in between and it just helps my hair so much it helps my hair not be as frizzy throughout the day this leaves my hair looking shiny it helps detangle my hair if you're looking for a nice conditioning leave-in spray go for this one it's such a great product it has no harsh sulfate silicones or parabens so it's really great for your hair as well and it smells amazing so I'll definitely recommend this one another styling product that i've been loving is this one by olaplex this is the number six bond smoother as you can see i've used such a good amount of this i mean i've used all of that. I still have some left. This is another product similar to the Briogeo conditioning spray. It's also like a leave-in styling cream. It eliminates frizz, hydrates, and protects, and I really love this product as well. Sometimes I use this by itself um, because I really like how it styles my hair. I did use it today. This one does have a thicker consistency than the conditioning spray. The conditioning spray is a little bit more runny than this one. This one's definitely thick. It's more like a cream where you can style your hair. I have tried their hair mask as well, which I love. It is pricey again. Both of the products are really pricey 
for such a little bottle that you get but they work so well especially for color treated hair i do really love both of them but if you have color treated damaged hair i would say go for this one because it's a bond smoother and it's definitely going to help your hair it's more of like a leave-in treatment that's really going to penetrate your hair really going to help your hair get more hydrated, less frizzy, and it's just gonna style it at the same time. The last hair care product is this hair oil right here. This one is by Fanola. My hairstylist actually recommended Fanola to me. She said it's a great brand for color treated hair. I use their products and I love a good hair oil, so I started using this and I'm hooked. This is how much I've used of the product, and I still have so much left. This product smells so good. It doesn't weigh down your hair. It keeps your hair really shine, silky, and it helps with split ends. It helps with keeping your frizz down. It's just an overall awesome product to have, especially if you have color treated hair like I do. I use it right after the shower. Some days I use it when my hair is dry and it works both ways so well. Definitely recommend this product if you're looking for a new hair oil. It's not a thick product, it's not oily, it doesn't weigh my hair down. My hair feels so soft, it's bouncy, it's silky, it just feels amazing when I use this product. So I have also a few skincare products that I have been loving. So I'll talk about this product first. I have talked about this a few times already here on my channel. This is actually a spin care system. It's basically a tool to help you cleanse your skin. I actually got sent this by this brand. Ever since I got sent this and reviewed it on my channel, I honestly truly use it every single day, day and night. I feel like it has truly helped my skin and I feel like I do wash my skin and cleanse my skin so much better when I use this product. I don't really have super, super sensitive skin, but I do get retinas and I have retinas on my skin. So I was a little bit scared to try this product out, but it has helped my skin so much after I incorporated this into my skincare routine. This also comes with a body brush as well, so you can use it all over your body. I have used that sometimes, but I definitely use the face one more often. And it is a battery operated. You do have to use a battery. Um, so I really do love this product. Another skincare product that I feel has definitely improved my skin is this serum by The Ordinary. This is the Lactic Acid 10% plus HA Serum. This is basically a serum that's going to help you with your skin texture, dark circles, uh, uneven skin tone, anything like that. That is what this serum is used for. I never really used serum on my skin before on my face. I don't know. I just always thought that because I was super oily, I didn't need any more products on my skin just because I didn't want to get more oily. But that's totally the opposite. You definitely need to keep your skin hydrated. Use a good moisturizer because the reason why your skin is so oily is because it doesn't have the moisture that it needs. And after changing up my skincare routine, I definitely feel like my skin has changed for the better. This is one of the products that has definitely improved my skin so much. As you can see, I've used already good amount of this product and I use it at night I only use it once a day so just at night time so after I use the spin care system I'll cleanse my face dry my face and then I'll put this on on my skin I don't dilute it or anything with water you definitely can so if you first start out using this product I would definitely say dilute it with some water and then apply it on your skin so it's less tingly because it is tingly when you first start using it out it was tingly for me I used to have a ton of texture like a lot of little bumps right here was it wasn't really like acne it was just bumps and texture on my skin that everything that I used did not want to like make it go away and it was because I needed some kind of lactic acid serum and I was using one by Drunk Elephant but that one's so expensive and I was using just their little sample like trial version of it and I did really like it but I was like girl I cannot spend that much money on one product so I saw this one I was like you know what it's not that expensive let me just go ahead and try it out I still do have texture but all the texture that I had here like on my jawline has basically gone away and it's because of this product. It's super inexpensive. It's like less than $7. The Ordinary is such an affordable brand. This is actually my first product that I've tried by The Ordinary and I'm hooked. I definitely want to try other products. I know they have moisturizers and other serums and toners and all that. 
So once I'm pretty much done with the skincare that I have right now and I do want to use that up, I'm going to actually go ahead and purchase more of their products because I love this. And when I run out of this, I'm definitely going to keep purchasing this product because I definitely see a huge difference on my skin just from this product alone recommend this 100% if you're looking for something to help your texture your skin texture and you haven't been able to get rid of that like bumpy texture on your skin that it's not really acne try this product out it's awesome another product that I've been loving has been this moisturizer by the Sephora brand this is the super matte moisturizer I really love this moisturizer especially if I'm going to be going into work so I honestly don't wear makeup daily especially at work I don't wear makeup to work but I do like doing obviously my skincare routine and then putting a nice moisturizer on. It does keep me matte pretty much all day. My natural oils do come out a little bit, but for the most part, this leaves my skin super matte and it's great for combination skin. So I do have combination and oily T-zone. The rest is pretty much normal, but it does leave my skin looking nice and matte but also moisturize throughout the day. It's a good lightweight moisturizer. You can also use this as a makeup primer, which I haven't done, but I will try it out. It gives me a nice, healthy glow, but also matte, and it doesn't look drying at all on my skin, so I really love this product right here. It's super inexpensive. It's a little bit of a newer product from the Sephora brand that they have, so I'm excited to keep using this. I think it's gonna be a really good daily moisturizer. So if you're looking for a good matte moisturizer that you want to wear throughout the day, check this one out. And then the last skincare product is this a little guy right here. It's so tiny. This is the Origins Super Spot Remover. I, I love this product, especially again if I'm gonna go to work and I have a breakout and I don't want to put on makeup to irritate the breakout more. I will use this. So I will go ahead and do my whole like skincare routine for the day i will go in with my moisturizer right here and then once i moisturize my whole skin and let it sit there and dry a little bit i will go in with this product and i'll just apply it where i have my breakout so i'll get a lot of breakouts right here because i do wear glasses 90 percent of the time and a lot of the oil that i have from my forehead just kind of sits right here and it does break me out a lot but i use this product and it definitely helps this actually is clear so when you put it on it's clear and when it dries down it kind of looks like a dry patch like it doesn't look like you have pimple cream i have the mario badescu spot remover and i do really like that one but i don't want to go to work with like pink spots all over my face all over my breakouts so I will take something like this one where it's clear it makes my breakout go away so much faster I do really like this product and I just reapply it over and over again until the breakout is gone okay now let's get to the fun stuff the makeup items I love trying new makeup and getting new makeup. These are the two products that I have been loving. This is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. I have this one in shade 119 Light Medium, and it's the foundation that I'm wearing right now. I absolutely love this foundation. Ever since I did the review on this one, I've just been using it non-stop. I love the packaging. It's so sleek. I love the glass bottle, everything. It doesn't even feel super heavy. The foundation feels very lightweight and it doesn't even feel like I have foundation on my skin. I don't like feeling like I have really heavy cakey foundation on. This is a matte finish foundation, but I feel like if you play around with your primers, you can actually get it to look a little bit more doing glowy or you can get it to look super matte on the skin. I have very oily skin, especially on my T-zone, and this held up so well throughout the day. And I truly love this foundation, especially if you have combination, normal, oily skin. If you have dry skin, you might want to use a really good moisturizer and a dewy primer. I still love my L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. You guys know this is like my holy grail. Definitely one of the best foundations out in the drugstore. But ever since I tried this one out, I definitely love it so much. I also love it more than the Smith & Colt foundation. This is still a really good one, but definitely love the Dose of Colors way more because it keeps me nice and matte throughout the day, which is like my number one concern. Sometimes I don't have time to powder throughout the day, and I don't have to powder with this. My skin looks so nice, and some of my natural oils do come through throughout the day, but it just makes my skin look nice and natural. So overall, I am loving this foundation so much, and I have been pairing it with the Milani concealer, which I have also been loving so much. I was using the ColourPop concealer, which I do like, but I feel like this one has taken like the number one spot. I do have a lot of fine lines under my eyes. 
Um, so it's kind of hard for me to find a concealer that's really going to help and not crease as much. I mean, I still will get creasing, but this looks so good under my eyes. I love it on my forehead, down the center of my nose, on my chin. I just love this concealer so much and it has so many different shades. Super inexpensive, affordable from the drugstore. It's long wearing. It doesn't feel drying under my eyes. And I love the packaging as well. This reminds me so much of the Too Faced. I think it's the Born This Way concealer that they have. This, the packaging reminds me so much of it. And I love, love this concealer so much. I've also been loving this blush by Benefit. This is the California Blush. It's such a beautiful, corally blush blush it does have a little bit of a shimmer but not too much more like a sheen on your cheeks i am wearing a little bit right now and i love these kind of shades for blushes i don't like super pinky blushes but this just looks so nice and natural gives your cheeks a little bit of a flush you can build it up to get it a little bit more intense i like to do it more subtle i don't like a lot of blush on my cheeks this one just looks so natural, gives your skin like a nice glow. And then for highlighter, which you guys know I love highlighting my face, I've been going back to my Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby Highlighter. I mean, I'm hit pan on this. Look at that. I already have a backup of this, so don't worry. Once I'm finished with this, I'm going to grab my backup. It's a beautiful golden champagne-y, a peachy highlight. It just looks so nice on the skin. I am wearing it right now. And it doesn't accentuate my texture that I have because I do have texture up here. I think this is a great highlighter. Honestly, for like any skin type, it just looks beautiful on the skin. I've used this when I was like a little bit lighter, like fairer. And then I've also used this when I've been a little bit more tanner during the summer. And it just looks gorgeous overall. If you have not tried this highlighter out, what are you doing? Go get it. It's like the most beautiful highlighter ever. I absolutely love this one right here. As far as eyeshadows, I have two palettes right here, both by Natasha Denona. So the first one is this little one. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. The very neutral brown shade. So two mattes and then three shimmers. I am using the middle one right here as an inner corner highlight and I love using that shade as an inner corner highlight all over my lid. It's just a beautiful shade and this is like the perfect little palette to have. I love using this palette also on the days that I do feel like wearing makeup when I go to work. I will just use this color like all over my lid. You can do a eye look so quick with this palette, like literally five minutes and you're out the door. So I love this little palette right here. And then I've also been loving the bigger one. This is the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. So it has all these gorgeous shades, so mattes and shimmers, and it's so beautiful. I actually used this palette on my eyes today. I use the shade Glory, which is this gorgeous magenta pink shade all over my lid. It's the only color that I used all over my lid. For the bottom, I use this gorgeous yellow shade right here. It's called Citrine, and I use that for my bottom lash line right here. It is pricey, but super inexpensive for a Natasha Denona quality eyeshadow palette. Oh my god, this palette is just so good. You can achieve different looks. You can do something neutral. You can use something with shimmers. You can do something a little bit more dramatic like I did today. A little bit of a pop of color. You just get so much variety with this palette. The shimmers, look how metallic, shimmery. They're just gorgeous. And I love all of these shades. They're so pretty. If you've been wanting to try out Natasha Denona palettes, but you don't want to splurge, don't want to spend over $100, over $200 on one of her eyeshadow palettes, go for this one and go for this one right here. Honestly, these two are perfect. So the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is lips. So I have a few lip products right here. It's basically the combo that I'm wearing today on the lips. I have been loving this combo ever since I tried out these products by Alamar Cosmetics. I did a full review on my channel. I did swatches trying out all the lip glosses from her Las Desnudas collection. And this is probably like my favorite nude combo in a really long time lip gloss wise. I love the lip liner. The lip liner is gorgeous. So I did put this all over my lips. And then for lip gloss, I actually used two of her lip glosses. So I used the shade Coqueta and the shade Chula. So Chula is a little bit more lighter. And then Coqueta is a little bit of a darker nude. So I actually put this on the outer part of my lips. And then right in the center, I put on Chula, and then I kind of blended the two together to get this really nice 
pouty lip gloss look to the lips. I absolutely love this combo. This is pretty much the only nude lip products that I've been using. They're creamy, they're pigmented, they don't feel sticky. They're such great quality. Love both of these shades as well as the lip liner. I have tried this with other liquid lipsticks as well and I love this lip liner. I feel like I'm going to need a backup of this. I like the other one that she came out with as well but I feel like I'm going to use that more for the fall and winter months. Right now I've just been loving using this one which is in Dulce. Okay love so that's going to be all of my favorite products for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I talked about a, a lot of products so I will leave a link to everything down below so if you guys are interested want to try out new products want to get your hands on new skincare on new hair care or makeup you guys can check the description box below i have everything listed where you can find it prices all that good stuff but i really hope you guys enjoy this video if you like favorite videos thumbs up this video like this video and i will keep doing them because i love sitting down and talking to you guys don't forget to head to my giveaway. It's an international giveaway going on in my channel right now. We'll leave a link to that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!